Morning guys, meal one, we're gonna break and do right now, pre-workout meal. We're gonna do one of these everything bagels. I'm toasting it on the stove, because we don't have a toaster yet. As you know, the kitchen's still underway. Construction. But, doing one of these bagels, I'm just waiting for them to heat up a little bit. About 355 grams of this Greek yogurt, the fat-free one, and about 284 grams of these strawberries. And I'll probably throw some Splenda inside of the yogurt as well, just to sweeten it up a little bit. And I'll probably end up just mashing these strawberries down. And that will be breakfast before we hit this push day. Mash the strawberries up, mix in the Splenda to the plain Greek yogurt. Homemade strawberry yogurt right there. Damn good. Gonna taste test this Quest oatmeal chocolate chip flavor. Never had it first time right here. It really tastes spot on in my opinion. I think it tastes sort of like a like a brown sugar oatmeal type of hint in there. Cause right away, like the first thing I tasted was oatmeal and then you kind of get the chocolate chips with it. I wouldn't say it's their like all time best flavor but honestly, it's really accurate. It's like, it's on, I feel like it's pretty much depicting what they wanted to hit here. Well, I like cookies and cream first, and then I probably like cookie dough. And then for third, I would tie this with s'mores. It's the biggest freshener pack I've ever seen in a supplement. It should be pretty fresh. Let go. That's a big scoop. How many grams is the scoop? 20.7. Damn. It's good. Yeah, it's real fucking good. It's like a sweet bubble gum. I'm definitely a fan. It's got 25 calories, but um, I'm not sure where they're coming from because it doesn't list any carbs, so. Maybe amino acids or something, who knows. Tastes good though, tastes really good. What's going on guys? It is currently Monday night, about 10 p.m. Just finished my calories for the day. Got back from leg day and cardio. It was an insane session, but it was pretty dope. I do have a few things to update you guys on over the course of the two voiceovers in this video. You're going to be watching me hit a push day where I hit chest, shoulders, and tries, and then a pull day later on where I hit back and buys and a little bit of traps and rear delt. But to get into some things that I'm pretty stoked about, pretty pumped about to release to you guys, first of all, a lot of you have been DMing me. Um, instant messaging me on Facebook, Instagram, etc., asking me, uh, you know, when my protein's gonna come out, what I'm gonna be able to do for you in terms of deals and sales and stuff like that. Well, basically, I've been able to put together a free sample program. So I'm gonna be coming out with a link for you really soon on how to get the free sample. You're just gonna enter like your name and email, and you'll be able to try it out for free, no strings attached. And that's a good way to, for you to just see if you like it. I wanted to hook you guys up with something like that just because, for one, you guys are loyal as hell. And you're my you know primary supporter base. And a lot of you guys, I know, really want to try this stuff out. Two, because some of you who have might have never had whey before, maybe you want to try it out, see how your body reacts to it. You know, See if you like the taste in general, if you do use a lot of protein. Maybe you know, you're really loyal to one flavor system. Maybe you can see if you like this one. So a free sample is good for you know, things like that, just to get your feet wet and see how you like it. Secondly, I'm able to do, I'm not sure if I even mentioned this yet. I may have it on Instagram, but for those of you who don't know, I'm going to be doing 50% off. So half off on full size tubs for all my supporters that buy it. So again, I wanted to hook you up. Because, like I've said before, I know a lot of you guys are actually younger than me and my age. And around our age, our budgets do get a little bit tough because we're in school and we're not always working full time. So, you know, with that being said, 
I did want to try to hook you up as best as I can, and I'm I'm pretty happy with what I was able to put together, and I'm confident that a lot of you guys will uh, you know be happy with that too. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. I'll talk to you soon in the next voiceover. All right, guys. Peace out. These Power Crunch bars are damn good tasting. Damn good. All right, guys, about to get in meal one. I'm gonna do two packets of oats, apple cinnamon oats, gourmet chocolate whey. Gonna do about 40 grams of that. Cheddar rice cakes right here on the side, and I'm gonna throw some strawberries sliced up, or I'll probably just throw them in whole on top of the proats. So let's make that up. And as always, about 32, 35 ounces of water to start the day. And here is the finished product, 143 grams. That's what those strawberries came out to. Eat this with the rice cakes, cheddar always. And it's gonna be a nice pre-workout, carb heavy, low fat, moderate protein meal. And it's pretty hydrating. That's why I like oats pre-workout, guys, because you get water from the oats in addition to the water you drink. And the more hydrated you are, the better your workout is gonna be and the better you're gonna look. Let's slam this meal. About 1.3 scoops going down. What up guys? So first voice over we basically covered what I was doing with my protein, 50% off and free samples for everybody. Second voice over, I'm gonna update you on my cut, how everything is going there. As you saw in this video, 189.4 pounds, so I broke the 190 mark. Today on Monday, I woke up at 188.8, .8, and I'm just hoping that tomorrow it's even lighter because I'm going to keep ticking down until I get to 180, and once I get under 180, that's in my head when the real, I don't want to see the real cut starts, but when the real changes start to pick up, because in the beginning of a cut, guys, you're going to lose, usually if you just came off a of bulk, you're going to lose a good amount of weight, and it might not look like a ton of difference, however, when you get deeper into a cut, each pound starts to make a big difference in your physique. Each pound is a higher percentage of body fat instead of water and glycogen and that sort of a thing because you're already depleted. So as time goes on, um, you know, I get under 180, which I'm confident I can do at a relatively quickly pace, all things considered. I'm pretty pumped because everything's going really well, like strength, gym energy. I, I wrecked my legs today in the gym. And, you know, strength's a little lower on legs, but that's sort of to be expected. You know, leverages are down a little, but all in all, as you saw, my bench is up. Well, it's, it's the same, I guess, which is fine with me because I'm maintaining uh, muscle there. And uh, my energy's good. I haven't had any hunger. I skipped my refeed this week because I, I don't need refeeds yet. I shouldn't really. I overdid it two weeks ago, so I'm trying to hold back on the refeeds now and only take them if I need them. So weight loss is going good, going well. Excuse my grammar mistake there, but we'll be under 180 soon, guys. And I'm pumped for that. So stay tuned for the protein and everything. Everything's going awesome. I'll catch you guys very soon. Until then, peace out. Fit Crunch bars, hands down. Probably the best tasting protein bar that you can buy. Right up there with Power Crunch. What's it with the bars that are called something crunch? Just tasting like the best. Fit Crunch and Power Crunch. Damn good. Thank you, Best Buy, for carrying refreshments. Here to get a second Xbox controller so I, I can play it. Madden with my dad. I get it. Yeah. Why would I say all these things to have you feeling away?